you know, users see their wheelchairs as part of themselves. We try to embrace the capabilities of the individual and um, try to provide them different means of control interfaces. One of our projects involves the development of a, a smart wheelchair for individuals with disabilities. We started developing um, sensor, controller and actuator modules as well as um, uh, algorithms to come up with a smart wheelchair. What makes the wheelchair smart is that it maps its environment as it goes through so it can avoid obstacles. It also knows certain places of interest in the home. We took an existing wheelchair and basically developed those add-on modules. Uh, so we have a, an array of sensors all around the wheelchair which can detect walls, obstacles around them. So based on those, for example, we can uh, implement wall following navigation. We do have another uh, sensor which is attached to the um, arm. That's, um, that's another uh, way of getting a rough map of the objects around the, around the wheelchair. We are developing the system to be personalizable. If a person has no mobility but cognitive skills, then we can use EMG-based muscle motions to control the wheelchair. Currently, um, uh, Ren is uh, controlling the wheelchair by his facial gestures. So he's wearing that commercial sensor, and then if he looks left or right with his eyes, uh, he can control the movements of the wheelchair. And if he raises his eyebrows, that, that means another command to the wheelchair. So we, we map those to wheelchair motions, basically. Stop. Right. If a person can speak, then they can interface through the voice controls, and then they can control the wheelchair by just talking to it. We integrated the Google Glass into our wheelchair, and what happens is we can now control it through providing voice commands. Forward. Currently, you know, my student Dimitri is um, controlling as you know, forward, left, right uh, type of commands. In near future, we'll be able to control it as you know, go to the kitchen, go to the bed, bedroom type of activities. Forward. We now know that as the world population ages, um, we need to provide them means for independence. Uh, they want to age in place, they want to be, they want to live independently, and we do believe in our lab, with our work, with our research, we do believe that uh, we can provide that through assistive robotics technologies.